Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video on survival multiplayer with Dagoin. We've just been having a discussion about today's um, activities because a lot of you have been complaining about um, not being able to hear the sort of discussions between us, so we've had a bit of a discussion. Unfortunately, Dagoin doesn't want to do or can't do the um, voice chat through the, through the server because he's playing with, without headphones on. Um, I'll, I'll keep asking him about this, but he doesn't seem keen to um, do the voice chat sort of thing through the server. So anyway, what I've decided to do today is um, I'll just repair this tractor um, and then we need the chickens, we'll need some more feed. So um, as you can see from the chicken menu, um, they've only got a capacity of 1000 litres, um, which is a bit annoying for the size of the chicken coop. It's a 700 chicken um, capacity coop and the capacity of the feed trough is only 1000 litres, which isn't very much. Um, so we need to, first of all, get some feed for the chickens. Um, so I'm going to go and buy some chicken feed pallets. Unless Dagoin's doing that, I don't think he is because he, he said I was going to do that. Um, so yeah, first of all we'll, we'll get some feed for the chickens. Hopefully soon we'll have a fill ready and then we, will, we won't need to buy the feed in. We'll have to just, um, we'll have enough of our own feed so basically we don't have to buy any more feed. Um, that's the plan. Um, we will need to buy a trailer to, so especially for the chicken feed. Or actually, what we're probably just going to do is keep our current trailer, which we've been using for, for grain casting, as the chicken feed trailer, and then buy a bigger trailer for grain casting. That'll be the plan. Um, so the, yeah, that's that's what we need to do. Um, I think Dale is doing some repairs, his tractor modifications, probably putting a new engine in his tractor. I think you mentioned doing. Um, anyway, chicken feed. Um, where is it? Uh, wheat. Yep, that's it. 15, 1500 a, a pallet though. It's unfortunately one of the most expensive pallets there is. Shame it's not more than this sort of price range, but anyway, never mind. So we'll buy um, probably a couple of them. That'd be 3000. So yeah, we don't want to be buying chicken feed, it's too expensive. Um, so that means I'm buying this new trailer, yeah. So, he can do that, yeah. So yeah, he's going to buy us a new grain trailer for casting, and then obviously we're going to use the current one we've got for chicken feed only, once we have some um, of our own feed. Just realised I should have put a rear weight on this tractor. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to lift them both. Let's just see. I might be able to, but I don't think I will. It's going to be annoying. Nope. <laughs> oh, I should have put a weight on. And Dagoin hasn't got his front loader, so he can't help either. Um, what I could have done is put them in the trailer. Oh. I'll just uh, say that. Oh dear, Dagoin seems to have had a bit of an issue with the trailer. <laughs> um, surely the trailer isn't too heavy for the tractor, that would be ridiculous. What I've just suggested is um, this, <laughs> both wheeling in opposite directions. Um, yeah, so what I've suggested is putting the wheat into the trailer and then we can just tip it out at the chicken um, farm. Although this isn't the trailer we're going to use. Maybe I should wait until I know that that trailer is going to be alright though because it doesn't look too good. <laughs> Yeah, it's somehow sunk through the floor. I don't think he's going to get that. That just looks ridiculous. <laughs> yes. I think that needs resetting. Yeah, I don't want to put this in the trailer yet if we have to reset. Right, I think we're sorted. <laughs> Got it reset. Okay, so let's fill the trailer up with the feed. And then that way, it'd be, that'll be easier. Then we can just uh, fill the chicken pan up from from the trailer. So that, that'll save having to come back for the, the other pallet. So obviously, yeah, forgetting the weight wasn't a good idea. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to sort that problem out. So this should keep our chickens going for a bit longer until we get, hopefully until we get the um, wheat harvested. I'm not sure how long it will be until that's ready. 
we are actually quite a long way through June already, so um, we'll be into July today. This is our massive wheat field, so they will have enough feed once that's harvested. Um, oh, it's still not going to be ready, is it? It's going to be at least another two months before that's ready. That's annoying. We really do need some of our own feed for the chickens because it's costing us a fortune in feed. More than what we're making, that's for sure. So, um, yeah. We, we do need to get that ready. But we do have a cornfield ready today, so I'll probably be harvesting that. Um, yeah, that'll probably be today's main job, I think, to harvest the corn. Unfortunately, we can't feed corn to the chickens. Wow, are they really struggling up the hill? If you're on about upgrading that, because you can put a bigger engine in that. I think it's currently 150 horsepower, isn't it, and I think you can go up to a 200 horsepower engine in that. Um, rather than buying a new tractor, it's going to be cheaper to just put a different engine in that one. Um, so that's what we were discussing earlier as well. So I think he's going to be doing that today. Although we have spent quite a bit of money already. Oh, and the big thing today is the furniture actually. I should do that before we do the corn because I don't want to let the price start to decrease on that. Um, furniture price I think is at its best today. Or is it July? I've forgotten now. Um, I forget from one episode to the next. Oh, it's still increasing. Ah, July. July is the month to sell the furniture. That will be this episode. So we, yeah, that'll be good. Um, Darwin's asking, should we do the corn now? Right, so yeah, we're going to do the corn now. Um, and then next month, which will be this episode, like I say, we're going to do the um, solar furniture pallets. And that will really, really boost our income, because I'm hoping to make quite a bit of money from the furniture. It's going to be selling at their best possible price, and uh, it's a fairly valuable um, thing anyway, so I'm hoping to get, well, I don't want to don't want to be too over optimistic, but I'm hoping to maybe possibly get close to a hundred thousand. I'd probably not quite as much as that, but it'd be nice to get over fifty thousand anyway. Somewhere between fifty and a hundred thousand, I would have thought we'd get the furniture. Um, I would hope. I don't know. I forget what, and I don't know exactly how much we've got, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> yeah, maybe being a bit over, over optimistic, but if we can get fifty thousand, that'll be good. But anyway, I think what I'll do now, I'll time lapse doing some of this corn harvesting. I'm sure Dagwing's going to come with the trailer and uh, put it in the wrong trailer because <laughs> the trailer's full of uh, wheat now. That should be our carting trailer, and then the other trailer is going to be our um, feed trailer for the chickens. But never mind, that will be the case in the end, but possibly not today because uh, I've put the, put the wheat in it now. But never mind. Anyway, yeah, time lapse on, on for this now.
Okay, well, as you saw there, Dagwin's been selling this uh, corn we've been harvesting. He's also sold, by the looks of it, the lettuce, I think it was. Um, so we've really boosted our bank account back up to 55,000 now, so we're down to 20,000, I think, 20 something thousand. So, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty well now, um, despite having spent on the new trailer and obviously Dagwin's upgraded his tractor. Um, yeah, we're, we're doing all right. So that's good. Um, Dagwin's going to go off and sell that last load now. So that's all the corn sold, nearly, when he sold this. Um, yeah, so that, that'll be all the corn sold, and that's brought us in a, a reasonable amount of money. Obviously, the, yeah, like I say, the, uh, the lettuce pallets were in there as well, but for a, a relatively small field, that's not too bad, really. Um, so this combine's kind of finished with for now, and we don't need it again until we get another field race harvest, which isn't today. Um, we will have one probably in a couple of episodes, I think, probably or maybe next episode, I'm not sure yet. We'll have to see um, how things are going. It's a shame we couldn't use the new trailer though, that's kind of worked out quite badly, the fact that I put the, uh, the, the wheat in there and then obviously now it's got wheat in it, it has to be used for the, the chickens until that's used up, but it will be used, like I say, that new trailer will be used as a grain carting trailer, not as a chicken feed trailer. That will be the old trailer that gets used for the chickens, um, as I have mentioned, but just in case anyone missed that. Um, but what I want to do now start loading up the furniture because the furniture will be sold in July and I can imagine Dagwin's going to probably want to um, skip time fairly soon it's starting to go a bit dark and as soon as we get to July I want to be selling the uh, furniture because that's when it's at its best price so I will take the structure over there to the uh, carpentry and start loading up the furniture and then we'll be selling that when we get into July and that really will boost our Bank account balance we're up, up to 61,000 now, and I think, um, well, I would like to think we'll get at least 50,000 for this, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, I'm probably going, it's not very easy actually because it's a bit awkward around the back of here, not much space to manoeuvre. But if I get the trailer sort of in this position, should be able to load them as long as I can lift them, of course. <laughs> We really need a rear weight, I still haven't got a rear weight on. I think I'll have to, have to do one at a time without a rear weight. I should probably even get one actually. Let's just see if I can lift this, I don't think I will though. The finish is really heavy, yeah, it's uh, too heavy. I can do one at a time, but I'd rather not do that. So I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get a rear weight and then we'll get them loaded up. If there's one, I think there's one at the yard, hopefully. I think I can tow this trailer with the rear weight on, which will be quite good. I'll say dropping it off. We could have also use the forklift actually, but that's probably going to take a while to get over here. It'd be quicker just to go and get a weight for this tractor. I'm back again with the rear weight on there, so I should be able to lift two pallets at a time now, hopefully. It'll be a bit annoying if I still can't, but uh, I'll give it a try. Of course, most of them aren't actually already stacked, so they're kind of a bit annoying. I can't see a thing because of these trees in the way. I think, yeah, there was a comment actually that said remove the trees behind the carpentry. That is a good idea because, uh, for obviously, this reason it's a bit annoying. <laughs> Not much room to manoeuvre, and also I can't see very well. So that is something that I probably should do. Um, so yeah, then actually they said that you can feed the wood straight into the carpentry, actually that's a good, good idea, good suggestion that whoever made that suggestion, I think that would have been a couple of people. Um, probably should do that. I'm just going to first see if I can lift both pallets though. I'm starting to think I might not be able to, because this, these things are really heavy, these finished pallets. Oh I can, just, I think it's close to the limit but I can do it, that's good. There's no rush to get these loaded because, like I say, I won't be selling them until July anyway. So let's uh, let's remove some of these trees. They are a bit in the way, and that will give the uh, the carpentry more um, wood to process as well. The downside of it is, of course, we're going to be left with the stumps, which we'll need to get rid of with a stump grinder. But I don't want to do that right now. These trees are in the way. They're only little though. They're only small trees. These. Not a lot of uh, wood in them, but at least I can move them by hand. 
you can lift these small ones by hand. Just remove the leaves and things or branches. And then uh, carry them around to the uh, carpentry cell point. Or, um, not cell point, what is it called? Trigger. <laughs> Input trigger. Intake trigger. I don't know. Um, right, so I think probably I'll just time lapse doing the rest of this, loading these into the carpentry and then uh, loading up the rest of the pallets. Okay, so we've got all the pallets loaded up for now. Um, there might be another one up here before we sell them though in the, in the morning or the following uh, month. Um, so I won't do any more, I can't do any more now for that, but we will be selling them this episode. Um, I think Daggerwen has just started drilling that field that we were harvesting with uh, corn. So I'll go and roll that. Um, shall I push up at the front? Wait, wait, wait back to the yard. Uh, Probably won't need it again. I, I won't be lifting more than one more pallet, so I yeah, shouldn't need the weight again. It is starting to go dark, um, so I don't know whether we're going to get all this done before we speed up time in the morning, but I'll try and get it all rolled since he's drilling it now. Because obviously, if I don't if I don't roll it now, it'll never get rolled. It won't. I can't roll it after it's germinated, so now is the time to get it rolled. We'll keep the um, pallet fork on probably though. So probably we'll need that again to move another furniture pallet. I think we've got 10 pallets of furniture and each one's a thousand litres and um, price. Just have a quick look at the price again. I think it's still going up. 3,700. So if we've got 10 pallets that'll be 37,000 won't it I think. Is that right? I believe so. So we're going to get back. Well, if we get one more pallet, we'll probably get about 40 something thousand. Um, just over 40,000 in total. So, not quite as much as I thought, but it's still 40,000 pounds. Not bad. Considering we haven't really done anything. Obviously, we had to pay for the uh, production itself, but all we've really done is fed a few trees into it and it's just done the rest itself. So, we just left it in the background. A few of you were commenting saying, well, don't forget about it, but it takes a long time to process trees at the carpentry. So, yeah, with a full load of trees in there, it's going to take a long time. It doesn't need anything doing to it, really. It gets on with its, on its own in the background. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically how the carpentry works. You just feed a few trees into it and it, it does its thing. <laughs> just got to make sure that there's a, a clearing for the pallets to spawn. Other than that, yeah, it just does its own thing. Anyway, yeah, I'll get this rolled.
Okay, so the rolling's done. I'll fold these up and I've just speeded up the time. I don't think Diagram's doing anything um, important now, so we should be okay to speed up time. Since it's pitch black and we can't see what we're doing now, so <laughs> I'm sure that won't be an issue. Um, so yeah, then we'll obviously be into July. I'm not sure if there'll be another field to harvest, but there will be the furniture to sell, so that's what I'm looking forward to doing. Um, so I'll just pack these rolls back up where I got them from in the shed. Obviously, as you saw there, Dagoin was just spraying as well. He's sprayed off the weeds. Well, before they even germinate, you can, if you don't have that um, spot spraying addition on the sprayer, you can spray before germination and it will work. But obviously, if you've got that spot sprayer on, you have to wait until the weeds have germinated for it to spray the weeds. So I, I, I still don't really know for sure whether having non germinated weeds makes a difference to the yield or not when you spray it, but surely no weeds is a good thing. <laughs> you would have thought anyway. Right, so that's the rolling done. Um, just got to make sure that the chickens don't run out of feed because that is a ridiculously small capacity of 1,000 litres on the chicken feed. I think Dagoin's doing that, is he? No, maybe not. Oh, he's put the fed tractor on the uh, on the massive trailer so that that can tip it when it gets empty. Oh, he's selling wool. Must have been some more wool spawn. It's sort of full at the moment. I'll probably go and uh, connect up to the furniture trailer then. Well, no harm in tipping it, is there? There will be something to come out. There's only 1500 litres of wheat in this trailer now, so that'll be our, that'll be our um, main casting trailer in the future. Right, so I'll go over to the uh, furniture and get that. Uh, we'll possibly get another pallet loaded on if there is another one. I think there should be one. I'm not sure why the tractor needs repairing again. It must be the front loader or something. Oh, the pallet fork, I should think. Let's just do that. This is annoying seeing it needing repair, even though it doesn't need repair really, but... There we go. Now it's a fully repaired bar, <laughs> even though the tractor was fully repaired anyway. Um, right, oh, it's raining now, <laughs> again. Forgot to turn the time down. There we go. Dagwin's on the mini forklift. Ah, oh, that's what he was selling the wool with. There seems to be more and more crop disappearing on the edge there. Right. Oh, there's some uh, canola oil pallets as well to move, but I haven't got my rear weight on. So I can't do that right now. But yes, there is another one. Yep, that's good. That's an extra little bonus bit of money. Or is he going to do it? No. <laughs> Just trying to make sure I actually pick the pallet up. There we go. Obviously not got my real weight on, so I can only lift one at a time anyway, but just about got enough weight in the trucks to do it. So we've got 11 pallets, I believe, of uh, furniture. Not sure what the price currently is now. It must have gone up a bit more. It's July, so it's supposed to be the best month. So hopefully the price is a bit higher now than it was. It was uh, three thousand seven hundred, I think, for a thousand liters. So let's we'll see if it's gone up a bit more. I put the trailer on. Oh no, we've got ten pallets now. Oh no, we haven't. I haven't strapped it. Oh yeah, eleven. There we go. We've got eleven pallets. That's good. It's a bit of extra money. So if I can turn around here, it's a bit tight, but with these, uh, one good thing out of these trailers is you can pretty much spin them on the spot, which you can't do with a normal drawbar trailer. Right, price, let's have a look. 3,800, I think that's peaked now. It's not going to go any higher, I don't think. It's saying it's peaked, so let's find out what we get for the furniture. Okay, here we are, I think this is where we sold them. I think this is the first furniture we've ever sold, so let's see what we get. There we go, it's selling. Where wow, it's looking good. Over 100,000 in the bank, not 100,000 profit, but yeah. Oh, 42,000, that was a pretty close guess, so yeah, just over 40,000 I suggested, based on the price. We did get a 3,500 environmental score award, so it's a total of um, 46,000, is it? Around that anyway. 
just under 46,000 I believe mental maths in my head <laughs> okay so um, yeah we'll take this trailer back now won't need it again for a bit um, not sure what other jobs we've got today I don't think there'll be another field road to harvest yet these all look green to me obviously green means it's not ready yeah there's no there's no combining to do these are our sunflowers on the left nice to see that back looking at a normal field again one thing we would like to do I think is uh, cut through the back of that field take those trees down in the background there because we've got quite a lot of land beyond that we've bought um, so it'd be interesting to see what is back there really we might be able to either extend that field or, or make, maybe build something back there I'm not sure but either way we'll get money from the trees um, so yeah I don't think there's anything else I can really do now um, for today it's raining anyway so it's not great for doing anything really not the best farming weather and of course it's raining anyway it's uh, always raining on this map <laughs> how are the olives looking see any olives yet, I don't think they're ready. Not that it matters because uh, we can't afford the harvest yet anyway. Nowhere near. Um, so I think that's probably going to do for today. Um, yeah, Daggerwind's finished, so yeah, that's all we can do for today. Let's have a look at the grain trailer again, the new trailer. It's the cane trailer. I think those chickens have got enough feed. So, uh, yeah. It's a pretty good episode today. We actually made some money for a change. So there we go, hope you've enjoyed today's video, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next one.